Uh, Kat and Jasper are good. No sleep real lives. We killed them. I kicked their asses. Blood squirting everywhere. She was like, ah, uh, yeah, that's what happens. Thanks for the money, dummies. <laughs> band, 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 band. The camera's been on the whole time. Bounce, bounce. I'm actually a virgin. <gasps> Fucking piece of garbage disc. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Level One Podcast, everyone. I'm DSP, and uh, there is absolutely. Nothing special going on today whatsoever. Just a normal day. Everything is just the usual. Nothing out of the ordinary is taking place. <laughs> today is my birthday marathon, and I hope that you guys are excited to hang out with me all day long. Without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Or if you're maybe just stopping by to hang out for a little bit, that's also cool. I'm glad to have you here and glad to see you. If you're watching this on demand, that's just stupidity. But here's the thing. Today is a fundraiser. You guys have told me, aren't you going to do like a fundraiser for your birthday? Oh yeah, I'm giving it to you. And what I mean by that is we are not relaxing and having a good time together. It's not about having a good birthday, right? Today is about hitting goals, fundraising a certain amount. That's what I'm focused on today. I want thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. I expect that. So if you guys contribute today, thank you. That's what it's all about, right? I don't really think that's in the spirit of celebration of a birthday. Basically, this one marathon stream that I'm doing starting now for the next 10 plus hours, one long stream all day long, that's basically my work day today. Any contributions obviously are greatly appreciated. Oh my God, things are going to fall apart if I don't don't make a certain amount on my birthday. If you want to support the channel in any way, please. Today would be an absolutely great day if you were thinking of supporting the channel in some way, for example, gifting some memberships or something like that. There'd probably be a ton of people here today to accept them. So good timing on that. In fact, how about this? To get the day started, I'm going to gift five memberships myself to the community immediately. So let's do it. Boom. Congratulations to the following people. Mr. Clean, Tyrone Bourbon style individual. Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, he's just like me. Congratulations to you five. Enjoy your gifted memberships to DSP Gaming. Happy birthday to you. My birthday, but happy birthday to you. <laughs> Today's my 42nd birthday. Another year older. Another year of longer ear hair. Another year of a, a more painful back. Another year of my balls dangling even lower to my knees. But at the same time, a year wiser, right? 42 plus 78. Uh, and one thing I'm so happy to say today, folks. Today's my birthday, and guess what? I'm currently involved in absolutely no drama whatsoever. Zero. There is no drama going on at all. Now, that's a far cry from last year. I was up to my eyeballs in nonsensical drama with a bunch of idiots, and I'm so happy to not having that right now, you know? Like, not having to be involved in bullshit. I'm happy for that. So thank you for keeping the drama out of here. I woke up today, I'm like, wow, there's no stress today. I could just have a good day with my audience, relax. Very nice. Also, the weather today is very accommodating. The weather is great. The weather is cool, cloudy, a little wet. So it's good weather to be in the office all day long. That's why I wore the shirt today, because I was like, if I'm going to be in here all day long, I just want to wear a nice aerated shirt, and this shirt is a, a stretchy, aerated material. As for beverages, I have two beverages to drink today. I have the Long Island Ice Tea Mix that I had back during the Super Bowl event, but I have a new Mojito Mix that I'm going to be trying today. I took a very tiny taste of it last night. Wow, it was very minty. That's a ton of mint that they put into that Mojito Mix. Now, normally Mojito Mix has some mint, but I think this one, they might have overdone it. But we'll see. I'm going to try it, and quite frankly, I really want to get drunk today. I'm always happy to be totally tipsy, fucking falling asleep and shit, you know? That has happened during some marathons because I got way too tipsy drinking and I barely could carry on. <laughs> So, over the course of today, it should be fun. What I want to do is right after the podcast, we'll do the gaming schedule update. Yes, again. That's a necessary thing we have to do today. And then it's just up to you guys. Like, do you want to do the Nostalgia React where we watch the videos that are my most viewed? Do you want to do some Street Fighter Six? Do you want to do some Hell Divers 2? Now, also, I did get this quiz from Derek. He sent it to me yesterday, and I didn't even click on it. Uh, <laughs> Derek, I see that you're talking about your quiz. We're not doing your quiz. You can stop spamming the chat about your quiz. I don't give two shits about your quiz. I don't care. 
and then later food. Okay, food. I have the announcement because people keep asking me what we're gonna do. My wife and I decided we're gonna do Korean barbecue. Why? Because I've never had Korean food ever. I've never done that before. I've never had Korean food. So we've got that coming for dinner and dinner is coming between 4, 4.30 p.m. ish Pacific time. Wait, that's early. Well, that is our dinner time. And then at the end of today, the last thing we're gonna do as we're closing out at the end of the night, I'm gonna have my birthday cake which this year is a little different. We're not doing cake. This year we're doing brownies. My wife is gonna make homemade brownies from scratch with a peanut butter frosting and some nuts and other things on it. We'll see what happens, all right? Last year she made carrot cake and then we got sick after we ate it. Oh, it kills your guts after you eat it. Oh my God. Hopefully <laughs> the brownies come out better. What's my favorite birthday snack? I don't have a birthday snack. I just have whatever's around. If there's a cake made for me, I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, people are, are contributing like crazy right now. We got super chats, we got tips, we got gifted memberships hitting the stream. Thank you so very much. I'll shout all that out in a little bit. What I want to do is blab about my schedule for this week changing and also some big positive updates over on DSP Throwback. But once I cover those two topics, I'm pretty much good to go and we can do shout outs for all these contributions that are coming in. All right, first thing I want to do is just briefly recap yesterday. Yesterday, it was Elden Ring on the first stream and the return of Street Fighter VI and Friday Night Fights to the late stream. Elden Ring was going good, but I got interrupted. A couple times a year, we have an alarm test because I live in a private community. By law, it's required that you have an alarm that connects all three buildings. So we needed to test this alarm, which is fine. I, obviously, that's a good thing. Very good for my family. But they said they were coming at 2.30. All right, I'll have everything set up. So at 2.30, we'll just take a break and I'll tell everyone on stream, guys, I got to go for like 10, 15, minutes for this test because the test is very fast so 225 comes i say okay guys you know i'll be back go downstairs i open the garage i'm looking all around they're not here so i start doing stuff around the house i'm taking out the trash i'm cleaning the house i'm doing chores 445 they're not here okay it's almost three o'clock they're still not here i'm like dude this is bullshit over half an hour now i gotta wait this shit always has to happen in the middle of my stream by the way it's very loud like when it goes off it's a huge piercing shriek that kills your ears there was no way i was going to be able to stream when it was going on anyway it's just like very very annoying and essentially i had lost an hour of gameplay it's like what the shit i'm sure you guys are happy about that though you'd rather have less of me right <laughs> anyway, last night we went back to Street Fighter 6 for Friday Night Fights. As always with Street Fighter 6, the fanboy force comes out to defend it because they're so fucking ignorant. They just believe everything they're told by the FGC instead of using their fucking brains. I'm playing the game and once again, inputs dropping immediately. First match out of the gates claims to be a 19 millisecond match and I'm like, no input. Did you see me? Press the button. You could see you hear the click. Drops the input entirely. No input comes out. What the fuck? This fucking game, I'm sorry, it's not good online. The netcode sacrifices the accuracy of the gameplay to make it look good. So someone who's just a fucking rushdown masher always will be benefited, while someone who plays more defensively or more, you know, intelligently actually always will get a worse experience online. I call it for what it is. The game is absolutely trash. Playing it online, it's like someone's just punching in the ball sack over and over. I tell you guys when it's happening, I did the move, it didn't come out. I'm honest about it. Well, the FGC doesn't say this. No one in the FGC says this. Why the fuck would they say it? They need this game to be super praised. Why? They can't say the game isn't good online because then they can't get the bag. How you don't understand this yet really drives me nuts. Why do you think that the one guy who doesn't benefit is honest, right? I don't benefit in any way from saying things about fighting games. So why do you think the one guy who has no direct benefit would say something different from the FGC, right? They can't be honest. They're not allowed to. That's why you get the honesty from me. Man, the netcode is duty. It actually plays like dog shit online. So anyway, last night, for two and a half hours, we played Street Fighter VI. I lost a ton. I think it was like 10 to 3. But then I finally fought an Ed, and the Ed was a master Ed who was really good. And he was whooping my butt. And I was like, oh, it's good. And then he decided to teabag too because he's a piece of dog shit with an asshole person. Then for the, the second half of the stream, I switched to Lily. And the trolls came out in force and tried to mess with me. There's this one troll who apparently has an awful connection. I banned him. I just blocked them so I don't have to fight them ever again. There were two of those idiots who were doing that shit. So I blocked both of them. And after I got past those two idiots, then we started playing for real with Lily. Man, she sucks. She is one of the worst. She's such a hard time trying to hang with anyone else in this game. But yeah, I had a good time. So now let's talk about the schedule for the rest of the week. Today is the birthday marathon. Duh. I don't think I need to talk any further about that. And I am streaming Wednesday. Wednesday night will likely be the premiere of co-op with myself and Kat. That would obviously be awesome, right? Wait, 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 what's going on? I thought you said Wednesday was your day off. Wednesday's your anniversary. It is. But my wife, she really has no way to get out of a corner. She can't do anything. She's just stuck. I don't think she really fits anywhere. What can you do? That's life, right? Now, here's the thing. Next week, we got to figure out 
what we want to do for a day stream. And I'll tell you right now, it's not going to be an RPG. Fuck RPGs. We're not doing another one. And by the way, just shut up about Stellar Blade. I never want to see anyone mention it ever again. You guys are really just annoying me with that shit now because you know I'm not playing. So stop mentioning it. And by the way, it's not my choice it's because people won't behave in the chat. The people who are going to just act completely immature and disgusting in the chat if I played it, that's why I'm not playing it. Seriously, that's the reason. So you can stop talking about it now. I'm not playing. Okay. That's the schedule. Now, I have an exciting update for all of you regarding DSP throwback. Red Dead Redemption will be my first completed remastered playthrough on the channel. Now, once that playthrough is live, the next project, get this, is the restoration and improvement of the original Fallout 3 playthrough. The audio was atrocious. The camera was had all kinds of focus issues. It was a mess. This playthrough is now going to be upgraded hugely. Full. 1440p HD visuals, sharpness filter, so now the text will be way more legible, which was a huge problem with this playthrough originally. Color correction, perfect coinciding with the release of the Fallout TV series. The Fallout TV show comes out April 11th, and now you're gonna be able to see my restored, upgraded Fallout 3 playthrough live on the channel over the course of this month and next month. How cool, what perfect timing. So I'm excited for that. I hope that you guys are too, and I hope that you guys are gonna give the videos a look. FYI, part one, has the song that's like synonymous with Fallout 3. It goes, I don't want to set the world on fire. Whatever that song is, I can't remember the name of it. It gets claimed on YouTube and there's nothing I can do about it. So part one, I'm going to make nothing out. Nothing. So already all the effort going into this series, part one, which will be the most viewed part, I will make absolutely nothing on because of the fucking song. So if you like this playthrough, I really would appreciate it if you could support the channel in some way. So if you become a member of DSP Throwback, that would help. If you do a super thanks, that would be nice. Or during these streams that I do once a week, if you contribute during those streams, that would also help because this is a lot of effort and work going into this. Sucks that I'm absolutely not going to be able to make money on part one because of the stupid song. All right. So I think I've covered all the topics that I wanted to cover. So now we're just going to get into shout outs. So on the YouTube side of things, excuse me, many shout outs to do. We've got the Jew Corporation celebrating six months as a member and says six months for me, 42 years for you twins. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Luthace with the first super chat of the day. Just happy birthday whenever we're getting project seven react i already did one we did a retrospective stream where i went back and i watched the whole series and reacted to it but if you guys wanted me to ever do another react to it in the future i would be okay with that no project seven has returned technically it never started shut up BB Phil with a super chat. I rushed out and I bought some toffees to compliment our feast. Toffees. I don't actually know what those are. Isn't toffee the hard one? It's like a hard candy? Toffee. I think it's a hard candy. I'm not sure. But anyway, thank you very much. Morgan with a $10 super chat and says, happy birthday, Playa. Thank you very much, Morgan. No Tango De Niro with a $2 super chat. Happy birthday, Phil. Thank you so much, No Tango De Niro. And Andrew, the DJ, says, Happy 42nd. You're now eight away from half a century. Yeah, I'm over the hill, man. What I like to believe is that the best years are ahead of me because in my youth, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't think that I really had an amazing youth. I started to feel sickly. I was really overweight. I had a severely herniated disc in my lower back. Constant shooting pain or numbness and loss of control of my legs. It was terrible. I'm getting carpal tunnel. <clears throat> There's nothing I can really do about it. I'm sure other people might have a more common experience who didn't have the debilitating injury that I had at that age. Today, I'm around 200 pounds and I feel much, much better. My back injury got significantly better. The herniation in my disc has essentially almost disappeared. And I kind of feel like now my life is better. I'm having a better time than when I was young. And that's a good thing, I feel, right? I think the best is yet to come. Okay, so that's all the Super Chats. Now, let's get to the tip side of things. We start off today with a 777 tip. Happy birthday from Snout Foot. Okay, Snout Foot, thank you very much. Then I received an incredibly generous $50 tip. Happy birthday, DSP. Can we get some Ed gameplay today? I'm not doing Ed today. If you play a fighting game and you're genuinely trying to learn. You need to practice with the character. I would have to take Ed into training mode, test all his special moves, learn his basic combos and abilities. I'd have to do that first. Then we'd have to go online and do some casual play. I can't just jump right in. It's just not possible. It wouldn't work. And I know no one wants me to do that right now. You don't want to be dicking around in a training mode. So I'm not using Ed. Anyway, I received a $2 tip, pretty worthless. I also received a $30 tip from BB Phil. Happy birthday, Phil. Are you cool with Tony Barnhill? Could I contact him and have him call in to talk about old times? No. You know, I don't want to bring him into the web of bullshit that these fucking people do online and have him get harassed. And then I received a dollar tip. Happy birthday, Phil. Thank you, Kirk, for the dollar tip. 
Then I received a $5 tip. Happy birthday, DSP. I hope that you have a great day. Thank you very much, Rocky. Surprisingly enough, everyone's just saying happy birthday. I thought people would have topics to talk about and stuff, but everyone's just stopping by to say happy birthday. All right, so far, so good. I think I've covered everything so far. So now what we can do is maybe some Q&A, and if anything else comes in, I'll shout it out. All right, Shoevetter6 Blanca says, did I have a special breakfast? No, it was a bagel with cream cheese and a black coffee like I have every day. Thank you, Michael Kane saying happy birthday. I appreciate that. It's your birthday today. Not very people know that. <laughs> Did I ever have any coffee with chicory in it? I don't even know what chicory is. So the answer is no. I got a dollar tip from Kirk. If your hands are wearing down, would you consider Neuralink a disabled man from a sh from the shoulder game? Has been playing Civilization all night long. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what that means. I think what he's asking me is, would I consider a Neuralink so I could use my head to control my hand? That's what you're doing right now. How do you think I'm moving it? I'm using my brain. Do you see me going like this physically? Is there a way to like, I don't know, to implement or amplify it or something with this Neuralink? I don't know. I don't pay attention to that shit. If it's something to do with Elon Musk's companies, I want to stay as far away from it as possible. Five man 3000, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever what your super chat means. And the fact that you reference Kiwi Farms in it means I'm definitely ignoring it. I have no idea what he's talking about. Am I going to change the art in the back soon? It's been that way for some time now. This art was changed on April 1st. It's only been six days. So I have no idea what you're talking about. You guys are really confusing me today. Any update on DS politics? No, I'm trying to adjust things and get things back on track on this channel. We had RPG overload and this channel suffered. Views down, engagement down, support down, everything down. We need to get it. The views back up, engagement back up, support back up. We gotta get DSP gaming back on track to where it was. It has a huge decline right now for about three months. Once we get it back on the rails of where she needs to go, then I can focus on other stuff. No, I do not have a birthday hat. I don't have any birthday hats or anything like that i'm 42 years old i don't really care about having fucking explosions and party horns and confetti and shit let's just have a nice day together okay any last minute things you guys would like to talk about i'm gonna get a drink and start constantly drinking all day i received a two dollar tip from william my understanding cat does most of the cooking do you know how to cook or have any interest in learning how to cook uh, I have very basic cooking capabilities. For example, I'm pretty good at making sandwiches, salads. I'm pretty good at chopping vegetables because I used to do that for a living. I can make a pot of Italian sauce, which is excellent. I've made it many times before. It's more authentic. I use San Marzano tomatoes and stuff like that. So it has a completely different flavor than a lot of the store-bought sauces. But that's about it. Like I'm not good at baking anything or roasting anything. I've never whisked. I've never done any of that kind of stuff. You know, I can fry eggs. Really? Wow. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I'm really tired. I feel like I need to nap. Oh, I just want to nap. Did I do large birthday parties as a kid? Uh, mostly I remember having birthday parties just at my house and there'd be food and cake and a few presents or whatever. I don't really remember anything too crazy. Honestly, when it comes to like throwing a big birthday party, a wedding party, I feel like that's more for appearances. Like honestly, my wife and I had a very, very small wedding. It was just us and Derek at my parents' house and then we went and had a dinner together and that was it. And that was nice and we will remember that forever. Like just thinking about it makes me so happy and I tear up thinking about it because it was such a nice, little small personal thing. I've been to big weddings. I had two friends and co-workers over the years. I went to their big ass weddings, right? I, I, I think that our wedding was better. Oh, there's a zillion people showing up and everyone's fucking schmoozing and drinking and eating. Oh, you gotta dance now. Like, what? No. These people spend so much money on that. Couldn't have that have just gone to something better? No, let's blow it on having this big to-do and everyone could talk about how fancy we were because we had a big wedding. I just think that's really stupid in my opinion. Derek says he remembers a DSP tries it where I tried a caffeinated snack called a snack in the face. Good for you. I don't remember that at all. Have I ever had a Victoria sponge cake? I have not. The traditional cake I always had was called Italian cake. What the hell does that mean? Italian cake is so different from what you would expect. It's layers of sponge cake, but it's a more aerated sponge cake with more air pockets because it's meant to absorb, okay? And a layer of like chocolate pudding, then a layer of sponge, then a layer of strawberries and like a strawberry puree jam and then another layer and then like a layer of frosting and then another layer and it would be a ton of layers of that now you know, people are like oh that's a trifle no it's a cake it's round it's a round cake. That's like traditional Italian cake. I used to have that all the time because we had a local Italian bakery that was called Luigi's. And that's what I would always have traditionally for my birthday. Jade, what's going on? I, I said hello to you earlier. I guess you missed it. How's it going, Jade? What was the scared game for you between RE7, 8, and the remakes? What was the scared game? Huh? I don't know what you mean. Jade, what do you mean? Can co-what on like old times today? I don't know what that means, Jade. 
What are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. I received a $9.99 tip. I think I will count this as a $10 tip from Super Snow Carl Turbo HD Remix, who says, congratulations on being a year closer to your death. Also, it looks like a nice super chat is coming. Jack Act just did a $20 super chat. I hope you have a very happy drunken birthday. It's been a pleasure being a fan over the past year or so. It's been a pleasure having you. Here's an honest question for Jack Act. You've been around for a year now. Have you had a good time? What is your overall customer experience in the last year? I received a $10 tip from Jack Yak. You're the biggest piece of shit on the internet like everyone has told me. Wow. I appreciate that. Listen, I am a perfect human. I seek out drama. Take a look at the rich situation recently, right? I'm happy. I have content that's toxic. Attack others. Do fucking drama, slander, gossip. And I get to make a living making that content. How cool is that? That it means the world to me. Ever since the interview last year, I have act, act, actively 100% tried to sue every person out there out to slander me. Dabian says, I've been a fan for over a decade. I'm sorry. I'm I'm poor and I can't support you properly. Dude, I don't give a shit. So go fuck yourself. Apologize because you cannot contribute. <laughs> what? Eternal did a super chat and says, happy birthday. My black hole of nonsense. So you're calling me a black hole of nonsense. Great. I got a $1.50 tip. Ronso Kamaru. Happy birthday, Phil. Even though you're completely wrong about Final Fantasy 16. Oh, if you don't agree with me, you're just, you know, you're an asshole. My way or the highway. Agree with me or you're my enemy. My way or the highway. My way or the highway. Everyone come agree with me. I received a $3 tip. You are not just playing games with the viewers. You're performing an act of love because you are experienced and communicative. You have a steady and strong rhythm. Therefore, you are a fantastic lover, not just a fantastic gamer. Keep going. Don't stop. That sounds pretty disturbing. I'm not going to lie. Continuing on. I received a $3 tip. I can't stand it when you stand up sometimes and you're wearing pajamas. If you're wearing pajamas for your birthday, that needs to change. Uh, no, these are like, uh, just like, they're pants, like home pants, but they're not pajama pants. I'm not gonna wear formal slacks when I'm on a stream. You know what I mean? Like that would be pretty stupid. Only pajamas I have are the Breath of the Wild Zelda pants, and that's just because they're they're gimmick Zelda pants. You know, that's why I wear them. I have received an incredibly generous forty-seven dollar tip. I hate your streams. Here, have a tip. Thank you. And now some super chats are coming in. So I received an incredibly generous $50 super chat. Wow. And that's the biggest one so far today. And Butthead did a super chat. He goes, hello, is this thing on? <laughs> this is cool. Thank you, Butthead. This is definitely one of the longest podcasts I've ever done, but we're having a great time, right? We're just relaxing and talking. That's good. I hope for those watching on demand, you like the extended, very lengthy podcast. It was fun. But now, as they say, all good things must come to an end, right? Oh, wait a minute. I was about to adjourn the show and I received an incredibly generous $42 tip. So it's 42 plus 36. Uh. And by the way, what's cool is that it's a good variety of support today. As, as I told you guys, what happened sadly is during the months that I was doing so many RPGs, notably Baldur's Gate 3, we would get a ton of tips every day and nothing else. Membership, super chats, everything just dwindled to nothing. And so that back end support disappeared. Today, this is crazy. We haven't even finished the podcast yet. And we've got crazy amounts of support of every kind. So thank you guys so very much for that. All right, everyone. Thank you for a great birthday show. I hope that everyone enjoyed the show. Oh, oh I got received a $3 tip. Hold on. I just received a $3 tip from S Slurpee. And I'm not going to read what he says because it's disgusting. But it's still a $3 tip. So thank you. Absolutely revolting. Now, I think it is time to end the show. All right. So thank you all for your support. Never mind. David just did a super chat. What a miserable birthday. Thank you, David. I feel the same. How silly.